hello friend welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss about Bitcoin what is Bitcoin so so finally I'm in my uh, Chrome dashboard so I will search here what is Bitcoin See today price is uh, like uh, 43 lakhs and 5284.98 rupees INR. This is the value of per Bitcoin. So I will click. here uh, already explained very clearly very briefly see uh, bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that you can buy sell and access directly without an intermediary intermediary like a bank bitcoins creator Satoshi Nakamoto originally described the need for an electric payment. Actually, this uh, Bitcoin was first uh, origined by uh, that uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. So, he is the owner of this uh, Bitcoin. And then each and every Bitcoin transaction transactions that ever been made exist on a public ledger accessible. Everyone making transactions hard to resolve. So uh, the reason why it's worth money is very simply because we as people decided to it has value same as gold. Any says Anton uh, Mojgove, co-founder and CEO of digital financial service company Holy Held. So since its uh, public uh, launch in 2009, Bitcoin has risen dramatically in value. Although it's once sold for under $150 per, per coin. So as of as of October 26, 2021, one Bitcoin now sells for more than $62,000. So because it simply it is limited to 21 millions coins many expect its price to keep rising as time goes on especially as more large institutionally the investors begin treating it as a sort of digital gold to hedge against market volatility um, volatility and inflations so uh, how does it work is it work like a and distributed digital records because the bitcoin uh, blockchains as the name implies blockchains is the is a, a link body of data made up of unit you can tell this is also like a um, digital currency so uh, that uh, contains more information about this transaction including date and time today value buyer and sellers may be uniquely identified code for each actions and trees and struggle together in chronological order so once a block is added to the blockchain it becomes accessible to everyone who wishes to view it acts acting as a public ledger of cryptocurrency transaction says stage is consultant for pericoin blockchain is decentralized which means it's not an, it's not controlled by any one organization. It's like a Google Doc that anyone can work on, says Bucci Okro, CEO and co-founder of America, African uh, Cryptocurrencies Exchange Quadex. Nobody owns it, right? But but anyone has a link can contribute to it, and yes, different people update it. Your copy also get updated you might be remember about this right so you will get briefly descriptions in this link in this website also right uh, these uh, quotes are long random numbers making them incredibly 
difficult to fraudulently produce so uh, code to your bitcoin wallet has roughly the same odds as someone winning a powerful lottery nine times in a row so which are needed to for every transaction greatly reduce the rise and reacts anyone can fraudulent bitcoin transactions so these are some bitcoins already here mentioned how does bitcoin mining work this is very important question so bitcoin mining is the purpose of adding new transactions to the bitcoin blockchain it is a tough job people who choose to mine bitcoin use a process called proof of work deploying computer in the rest to solve mathematical puzzles that verify transactions to add is miners to keep racing to solve the puzzles and support to all over the system the bitcoin code award miners with new bitcoins this is how new coins are created and then transactions are added to the blockchains says okro okro you might i told you before about him so in this case bitcoin mining always pays less than it used to make it even harder to recoup says flory marquez co-founder of blockfi a crypto wealth management company there are more and more transactions so the amount you get to pay for each term is less and less by 2140 it estimate all bitcoin will have entered circulations meaning mining will be released on new time so in this case how to use bitcoin is like in the us people generally use bitcoin as an alternative investing helping diversify a portfolio apart from stocks and bonds you can also use bitcoin to purchase but the number of vendors that accept the cryptocurrency is still limited so big companies that accept bitcoins include microsoft paypal and whole foods to name only a few you may also find that some people's small radar retailers also accept this bitcoin so you can also use a service that allows you to connect a debt debit card to your crypto account in other countries particularly those with less stable currencies people sometimes something use cryptocurrency instead of their own currency bitcoin provides an opportunity for people to store value without replying without relying on a currency that is backed government so they said you when you use bitcoin as a currency not as investment in the us you do have to aware of certain tax implication how to buy bitcoin also this is very easy there are so many softwares there are so many websites out there you can directly visit that website and you can buy so most people buy bitcoin via cryptocurrency exchanges exchanges allows you to buy sell and hold cryptocurrencies some people for funding source such as a bank account or debit card so these are all things are related to the bitcoin so thank you guys thank you for visiting my video and watching full till the end please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon